Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the introduction to programming language. I am Nordila Nordin and I will be explaining to you the basics of the Java programming language. The third topic to be covered in this programming language subject is the life cycle. It is expected that after studying this topic, you should be able to understand the main steps involved in programming life cycle and the types of errors that can occur. This topic covers four parts, which are Java syntax, syntax error, runtime error, and logic error. A Java program is made up of class definitions. A class definition must contain a header and a body. In this example, the class name is Hello World. The class header is written as public class hello world. Within the opening and closing curly bracket is the class body. To save the file, the file name must be the same as the class name. This program is saved as hello world.java. A class contains zero or more methods. A method is a name section of code that also has a header and body. A method contains program statements. In this program, the method header is public static void main string args. Within the opening and closing curly bracket of the main method is the main method body. Here, the method body contains a sentence hello world that will be displayed on the screen when this program is executed. Comments are used to document the code. It can be used to specify what the code is doing. It will not be interpreted. A single line comment starts with double forward slash, while multi line comments are enclosed by a forward slash and asterisk, and end with another asterisk and a forward slash. In this example, a single line comment is written before the class header, public class hello world. The comments can be written anywhere in the program. When the comments contain several lines, the multi-line comments can be used. In this example, the last two lines show how it can be done by writing forward slash asterisk comments can be placed and on the next line almost anywhere in the program asterisk forward slash. The processing of a Java program can be summarized in this figure where a text editor is used to write the code. The file of the code is called as the source file. The file can be saved as hello world.java. The file is compiled using Java C command, which produces the bytecode or class file. To execute and display the output, an interpreter, which is the JVM, is used, and the command is java hello world, where hello world is the name of the class file or bytecode. Now, Let's look at the different types of errors that can happen within our program. There are three types of errors, syntax, runtime, and logic errors. Syntax errors refer to grammatical mistakes in a program. The grammatical rules for writing a program are very strict. The compiler catches syntax errors and prints an error message. When the compiler catches the errors, bytecode will not be generated. Examples of syntax error can be System.out.print, bracket, double quote, hello, double quote, closing bracket, full stop. The syntax error here is the use of a period when the program expects a semicolon at the end of the line. Another example is System.out.print, bracket, double quote, hello, bracket, semicolon. In this code, it is missing the closing quotes at the end of the word hello. So, the correct code here is system.out.print bracket double quote hello double quote bracket semicolon. Runtime errors are errors that are detected when the program is running but not during compilation. Thus, the program can be compiled and produce a bytecode. During runtime, when the computer detects an error, it terminates the program and prints an error message. For example, in the program, it tries to divide a number by zero. This is a runtime error because when it is compiled, the compiler does not detect the error because 
number divided by number are just two numbers. In this example, we have int number equal to 20 divided by 0. When the calculation is done, it detects that it tries to divide 20 by 0 during runtime. Another example is when the input to the program is different than what the program expects to receive. In this example, it expects a number int input equal to scan.nextInt. It expects an integer number. However, if a word is entered, runtime error will occur because nextInt is expecting a number. Logic errors are errors that are not detected during compilation or while running but cause the program to produce incorrect results. This refers to the error by the programmer. For example, the formula to calculate an area of a rectangle is width times length. However, in the program, it is written as width plus length. When this code is executed, it will produce the output. However, the value is incorrect as the area is calculated by multiplying width and length and not by adding them. This figure here summarizes the processes and shows the errors that can happen at the stages of creating a Java program. Syntax errors are detected during compilation where the programmer needs to correct the source code. If the source code is correct and can be compiled, the bytecode is produced. When executing the bytecode, there are two types of errors that might happen. Runtime errors happen while executing the program. Logic errors is when the program produces incorrect output. In these two cases, the programmer should modify the source code to correct the errors. To summarize, in this topic, we have looked at the basic syntax by writing our first Java program, Hello World. This topic also covered the three types of errors, syntax error, runtime error, and logic error. Thanks for watching.